Social Star Academy presents Tales from the Trailer, a three-bedroom trailer, seven siblings, adventures abound, by Jennifer Cullen. The stories you're about to hear really happened. This series is dedicated to my six siblings, Nate, Laura, Tiff, Toby, Ricky, and Alina, who made growing up an adventure every day. I grew up in a small potato farming town in Idaho. In my town, all the rich families lived in big houses on the hill. My family did not live on the hill. My parents and I lived in a trailer court in the town. Several days after my first birthday, our town got flooded. The flood completely destroyed our house and ruined all of our belongings. My parents lost everything they owned that day. My parents felt very sad. My parents replaced our flooded house with a used three bedroom trailer house. They put our new house on several acres of land way out in the country. The following April, my mom gave birth to my baby brother, Nathan. At first, I didn't like having a sibling. I felt jealous. But as Nathan grew, I realized that he was a lot of fun to have around. We spent hours playing outside together, exploring the garden, the farm, and the woods surrounding our house. One day, we decided we wanted to catch a chicken. We got some corn kernels and spread them around on the ground. While the chickens were busy eating the corn off the ground, we snuck up behind them. We tried to grab the chickens around the middle, but they always ran away too fast. We never caught them. When the chicken catching idea didn't work, I came up with something else to do. Let's make mud pies, I told Nathan. Okay, he said. We went inside the house and took several pie tins out of the cooking cupboard. We brought the pie tins outside, sat in the middle of the muddy driveway, and made our mud pies. Soon I had another idea. Let's try parachuting, I suggested. Okay, Nathan said. We went inside the house and gathered up some plastic grocery bags. And then we headed outside to one of the barns. We climbed up on the roof of the barn. I held one of the plastic bags high up over my head and jumped off the roof. The plastic bag parachute fluttered in the wind. <laughs> I landed on the ground feet first with a thud. A moment later, Nathan landed next to me. We looked at each other and giggled. Then we ran around the back of the barn, lined up on the roof, and jumped off again and again and again. We parachuted off the barn roof until our feet felt tired and achy. Tune in again next time for another tale from the trailer. Farm Animal Safety Tip. Raising chickens can be tricky. Please consider the following safety tips on how to properly care for them. If you're visiting a farm, always get permission from the farmer before attempting to touch or pick up any of the animals. First of all, realize that all chickens have different personalities. As a result, some will be more open to the idea of being picked up and held, while others will find it stressful. Making contact with a chicken. Never chase a chicken because this will stress it out. Slowly approach the chicken, crouch down to its level, and then offer some food. Chickens with anxious personalities may still run away from you and will need more persuading before they trust you. The proper pickup. Never pick a chicken up under their wings, by their wings, feathers, feet, or neck. This can really hurt the chicken. Instead, gently shoo the flock of chickens into a corner and then slowly approach the chicken you want to pick up. Place your hands on each side of the chicken to keep their wings tight against their body. You can also put one hand under their chest and the other hand on their back. To ensure that the chicken doesn't accidentally hurt itself or jump out of your arms, make sure it is calm before you lift it off the ground. When the chicken is calm, gently lift it up and hold its torso and wings firmly against your body. The chicken's legs can hang down. 
If the chicken starts flapping its wings and you lose your grip, put it down and start the process over. Once the chicken is secure, you can gently pet them, but do not stroke against their feather grain. Talk to the chicken in a soft voice to help it feel calm and comfortable. Make sure you don't hold the chicken too tightly because you might hurt it, but if you hold it too loosely, it may get nervous because it feels like it's going to fall. Chicken transport. If you need to carry a chicken from one place to another, make sure to hold it upright and snug against your body. Preferably press one wing against your body and hold the other one with your hand or arm. For larger chickens, make sure to support their body by placing your free hand underneath them. Always be ready to let go of the chicken if it gets skittish and tries to get away from you. The proper way to release a chicken. Never throw a chicken. When you're ready to let the chicken go, slowly and gently place the chicken's feet onto the ground while holding its wings firmly against your body. Once you are sure the chicken is safely on the ground, gently let it go. If the owner says it's okay, give the chicken a treat after you put them down. This will reinforce a positive connection between you and the handling experience.